Matt and Mattingly's Bucket Show was recorded in front of a live studio audience in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. Fart noise. Joe. <laughs> Did you like my hello? Was that a good hello? Hello, hello everybody. <laughs> My name is Brent Mukai. I am the warm-up comedian for The Bucket Show. What is The Bucket Show, you're asking yourself at home on your computer screen? It is a two-man improv show with all of the suggestions, all of the things made up right here on the spot uh, with help from you at home. You might be asking yourself, how can I contribute to the show all the way over across the internet? Here is how. Uh, Matt and Paul are going to be coming out shortly to put on this show. Matt and Mattingly uh, will be presenting The Bucket Show. So let's give a round of applause for that. We have a live studio audience here, and today we are going to be using your suggestions from home. Whenever they prompt you and say, we need a suggestion of this, go ahead and get on your computers and type in a suggestion. People in the crowd here can also get on their phones, log on to Twitch, and then also provide suggestions, but it's going to be all, all from you guys at home and all from the people on Twitch here. Uh, 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 also, I want to let you know, to uh, if you want to contribute in some way to the show, you can go ahead and do hashtag bucket picks on Twitter and send a picture. It could be a crazy picture. It could be whatever picture. Please no nudity because we would like to stay on the air. Yes, B-U-C-K-E-T-P-I-C-S, hashtag bucket picks and send those into Twitter, okay? Because then we are going to take those pictures and use them for a game later on. My name is Brent Mukai. I'm going to be the warm-up comic. I'm getting you guys at home ready. I'm getting our uh, studio audience here ready. Uh, uh, I just, I want to talk to you guys about something real quick. Uh, and feel free to chime in at home. Hi, everyone. Hi, Scoop Jessica. Scoop du jour. Brent, it's Julie. Hey, everyone. Hello, Julie. Ever everybody, let's go ahead and say uh, Scoop du jour. Also, Julie says, uh, hey, everyone. If, we, if you don't mind just saying hey back to Julie, uh, let's say hey, Julie, on three. One, two, three. Hey, Julie. Perfect. All right. How do you like that, Julie? Salt pork. Thanks for the help. Lucky Cherms is now following the channel. Awesome. What's up, Twitches? Fro Yoke Soft Serve. I know you're in the audience, so welcome back. Uh, 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 here, I, so, here's, so I drive for Lyft is my normal thing, and I just I want to know if this is if I made a good choice or not. Because the other night I picked up this girl, very very attractive uh, Latina girl, uh, extremely. <laughs> All right, that was a bad time for the music to end. Okay, <laughs> disagree. Uh, I, pi <laughs> I picked up this uh, Latina girl, and uh, she was extremely outgoing. She was really cool. We got into this conversation, and she was telling me about this guy uh, that she liked, and that uh, they had gone out before. He had moved away for two years, came back, uh, and it just never seemed like it was the proper time for them to like be dating. The the, the timing was never right. Either he was with somebody, and then she was with somebody, and then finally, when they got together. Uh, they had to split up because he moved away. He's now back. He's now been back for like a year or so, right? And uh, she hasn't gone out with like any other guys seriously because she's hoping that this guy will ask her out and he's single, right? And it seems it's from the story that they were each other's first loves and all of that stuff. And I was like, you should go for it. Like, you should, like, ask him out. He might be waiting for you to ask him out. And she's like, oh, I don't know. I'm really drunk right now. I'm, I'm probably going to sleep on it and think about it. I was like, you should totally just ask him out. Right? Because I think that's sexy when a guy, when a guy, what, right, guys, fellas, right? Will you back me up on that? It's sexy when a girl's like, I would like to go out on a date with you. Because she was like, I turned down this guy who had tickets to the big fight this past Saturday because I didn't want to, I didn't want to go out with him when I still like this other guy. But I think I might just, I might just call it off and say fuck it but and I was like driving back home and I was like oh fuck I might have just made her like do a complete bad mistake right like what if she asks him out and then he like says no and then it ruins the friendship but I want to know from you guys and also at home I want to know what like did I do the right thing did I did I make the right choice you made the right choice whatever scoop I'm getting claps is there anybody who thinks I made the wrong choice in this I'm just going to play the odds and say, yeah, you made the wrong choice. You think so, Jacob? I wasn't really listening, but uh, <laughs> I'm just going to assume that because you did it, it was the wrong choice. And I just walked in. What happened? 
There's this girl. <laughs> Tell the whole story again, please. There's this very attractive Latina girl telling me that she uh, liked this guy. They had they were each other's first loves from like eight years ago or whatever. Uh, he moved away, came back a year ago, and now she's waiting for him to ask her out because mm -hmm. it seems like but he's not doing it for whatever reason. And she like got him like a really big birthday present and did oh. all of these cool gestures and stuff. Uh, you're like the love master Spadoni. Yeah, obviously duh. Of course. <laughs> Uh, what, what, I mean, I, I told her, go for it and ask him out. Maybe he might be waiting for you. Uh, not, uh. See? What do you think, Spadone? But she, she was at a point where she was, she was at a point where she was like, oh, I'm going to just totally say, fuck it, and it's over, and, and not even try anything. But I'm like, if, you'll have regrets if you don't ask, right? Would that scare you from if the, a very from, attractive girl were to ask you la, out? From the Latin men I've known who tend to be very machismo, I think that would be an emasculating thing. So I think she should not have done that. I think she fucked herself over. Listen, if you're watching right now, Mariana, listen, if you're watching right now. She's named after a trench. And she <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't don't worry, Brent. She won't listen that to your advice. Thanks, Dave Coulier. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> oh boy, but I, I think I made the right. I don't know. Hopefully, ho I drove home though, wondering like, oh fuck, what if I just fucked up that whole relationship? Yeah, because you're responsible for that. Yeah, <laughs> but also I'm a Lyft driver, so I'm never gonna see her ever again. Oh no. So oh, there's no responsibility. Wait, that's attached. the context. Yeah. Oh fuck. I no. picked her. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was like a friend. No, hell no. I wouldn't oh, tell a friend no, to go no, do no, that no. shit. Ruin every this relationship. A please. low commitment thing. I, I would just... I would be a Lyft Uber driver just to ruin relationships. I'm totally <laughs> just going to start giving unsolicited advice to every Lyft drive that I give from now on. Yes. Just because I know. Uh, you haven't you already really been doing do. that? Sell all your bitcoins. <laughs> A relevant joke. What's up, everybody at home? You might be watching, wondering, who is this Asian guy? What is he talking about? I'm going to explain right now. We are about to put on a two-man improv show called The Bucket <laughs> Show with Matt and Mattingly. Uh, they are going to be needing your help there at home because every time that they need a suggestion, they will look to the screen, and anything that you type in will be the suggestions that they take. So whenever they prompt you for a suggestion of any kind, go ahead and type it in at home, and uh, we will be using your suggestions to run the entire show. Another thing you can do is hashtag bucket picks. That's B-U-C-K-E-T-P-I-C-S, bucket picks, uh, on Twitter. Go ahead and do that on Twitter, and you will be able to uh, upload a picture with that. Uh, with that picture, we will be using it in a game later on uh, that will be, uh, please don't send any sexual pictures inside. Please, please. Nothing sexual that's against Twitch's rules. Uh, I know it would be funny if there was just a bunch of penises, but no, please don't do that. Jacob at uh, hayscoops.com. <laughs> At Sa scoops.com. Sassy. Uh, yes. So please, please, please uh, send those pictures in. Uh, keep. A, it doesn't have to be PG. It could be really weird or, or hilarious in some other way, but just nothing sexual because that's that's a big no-no on Twitch. Is, uh, what's up? Spadone? Is Dave Coulier in the room right now? Dave Coulier, are you in the room? No, I think no, I don't. Because that's because that's you'd fuck them, Spadoni. Okay. I get it. <laughs> Uh, I like the bucket show. I do too. The famous Jake, uh, Vanilla Scoop, Linda. Guys, I'm here at the show. Salt pork, everybody. Uh, give a round of applause for uh, Vanilla Scoop, Linda. <laughs> Whatever, whoever she is. All righty. Yeah, we're about to get this show started, and uh, I would like you all to go ahead and get your. Uh, let's 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 start off with a tiny little golf clap, and as I go through this introduction, let's get it as loud as humanly possible, and then when I end and put my fist in the air, let's all scream and applause like it's the greatest thing that's ever happened to you. So, uh, <laughs> I would now like to present to you all. Uh, let's get a little louder. Uh, two men. A part of a comedy duo, Matt and Mattingly, that's Paul Mattingly and Matt Donnelly, here at Polaris Studios, welcome to The Bucket Show! To Matt Mattingly's Bucket Show over there, that's Paul Mattingly. That is Mr. Matt Donnelly. How are you fuckers doing? Woo! Good to see everybody. We are definitely, for you guys watching, we're definitely drifting this way a lot because this is the largest studio audience we've had here uh, for our show. Of course, a lot of people here for the uh, scooping. Go ahead, let's give people at the internet a good look there, Chuck. Everybody say hello to everybody over there on the internet. Woo! 
you guys, there's hundreds of people here being watched by hundreds of you on the internet. It's really, really exciting. Uh, but uh, we're gonna be doing some improv comedy for you guys. It's like whose line, except that we wear nicer jackets and use probably filthier words. Um, yep. But we're not too filthy because we got a lot of new people here. We want them to like us. Okay, so um, thank you so much for joining us. Over there on the keyboard, by the way, that's Mike Spadoni. Yeah. I love you all. And uh, keep, keeping all the audio going, please give it up for Jacob, the audio guy. And uh, the most important thing that Jacob will be doing is the thing that we'll be playing last. We're about to do a one-hour show for you. Uh, the thing that Jacob will be doing last is selecting pictures that you send him. So, so tweet any picture you want with the hashtag bucket picks, and Jacob will search for that on the internet, and he will select, uh, we're going to basically do improvised musicals based on the pictures you send us. We're going to do a bunch of them. That so be uh, that'll, be, that'll be the last game that we play later on tonight. But for now, we want to get things started with uh, the Spanish job song, everybody. Yes, we do. Woo! Um, they don't have the screen. We don't have the screen for the audience. The audience can't see the things. I guess they get that one there. Okay, good. So you guys are fucked. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> uh, but just know that we're talking to the internet and there's a screen here. Imagine if it was just like cardboard. And then... <laughs> <laughs> this is like, uh, thanks for coming to our TV show, everybody. <laughs> okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make up a song uh, based on the suggestions you guys are going to type in. We need both a uh, uh, occupation, an occupation and interesting an occupation and an animal. So let's go ahead and start typing and away. An animal. Uh, occupation and animal. We what do we got here? Spanish job song for you. All right. We got carpenter. Carpenter. I uh, see dock worker on here. A horse sloth. Horse dock worker? That's like horse dock worker? Horse dock worker? That's Works for me. Saying. All right, let's do a horse dock worker song. Horse dock, dock worker, horse dock worker, horse dock worker. Horse dock worker, horse dock worker, horse dock worker. I'm a horse, I work the docks, the docks With the artsy kids and also the jocks. the jocks I haul things that come off the ships That come off of the ships I do what I'm told, yes, you heard me You heard Even me. though I won the Kentucky Derby The Derby I keep my giant mouth closed, don't give them no lip I don't give them no lip I've learned one thing or two I have learned one thing or two Step the wrong way, here you end up being sea salt glue. Sea salt glue. I'm a horse dock worker, horse dock worker, horse dock worker. Horse dock worker, horse dock worker, horse dock worker. Things have been hard here at the wharf. Why? Because, well, I'm a horse. Why? And people don't expect me on the scene. Don't expect him on the scene. They can be so cruel to me. Wahoo. They treat me like a pariah, you see. Wahoo. As though they're just so mean. They're just so mean. But I have a trick. I put peanut butter on my teeth. Peanut butter on So I can pretend teeth. that I can talk. And they give me a little less green. Worker, horse dock worker, horse dock worker, <laughs> horse dock worker, horse dock worker, horse dock worker. I've tried jobs left and right, left and right. Not a good horse job in sight, not one inside. I've done everything I can. I have done everything I can. I figured maybe this wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't hurt. Went to the dock and I put up a skirt, a skirt <laughs> around my waist. It was fly man. It was fly man. Oh man, it's tough uh, working on the down on the roof. Tough working on the roof. It's hard to give hands up for money when you got hooves. <laughs> I'm a horse dog worker, horse dog worker, horse dog worker. This horseshoe is not lucky. Horse dog worker, horse dog worker, horse dog worker. I'm the last of my herd, you could say. Wahoo. 
My whole family passed away. Whoa. I'm the main one left. The only horse in town. The only horse left in town. Couldn't afford a funeral, though. <laughs> Had to let the rest of my family go. <laughs> and into delicious dog meat. They were ground. They were ground. I hope none of the other dock workers catch me and see. Catch I'm throwing me. these boxes of Alpo into the water to give them a burial at sea. I'm a horse dock worker, horse dock worker, horse dock worker. Horse dock worker, horse dock worker, horse dock. Thank you so Thank much. You, Internet. Thank you. Thank you, Internet. And uh, by the way, Internet, as you know, we are com uh, competing for your attention today. It's Matt and Manning, but also Matt. Why don't you turn the volume off of that computer, Chuck? <laughs> and, uh, uh, <laughs> we are uh, competing for your tips and your hearts and minds. So if you scroll down to the bottom of your screen, you'll see a tip Matt button. That's my button. And there are other buttons there as well. <laughs> so ignore the first button. Move on to the Paul tip button. There also, you go. Uh, Spadonian and Jacob are referenced there. I but think, we don't too, count. Right now, it's a Best competition. Buttons. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. as of this performance, we are a tie. We have, we have won five each. That's true. Five shows each. Now let's break it. Uh, Make me win. That's right. With a win for me. For one, one penny. That's right. I want to win by a lot more than a penny. <laughs> okay. Uh, and so, uh, let's see. I think I want to do a curveball here, Paul. Throw There's away, a baby. huge crowd here. Yeah, I yeah. want to showcase. So, actually, uh, give, give me a, let's get two people up here to help us with a game up here. Give me two people. And if you don't raise your hands, then we'll just move on with the lineup that we have. Yes. Uh, you'll get up there's here. There's one. Come on up here. And, and there's yes, one. Yes, you come on up here. Okay. Come on down here for the show here. Uh, as you can see, uh, come up here. You're going to face the cameras over here. There you are. Now, you're not mic'd. I got this. All right. Say your name for everybody here on the internet. Rebecca. Everybody give it up for Rebecca. Yay! Say your name for everybody here on the internet. SJ Actress. SJ Actress. Yay! That's your last name? Yeah, that's my last name. All right. Excellent. <laughs> excellent here. Oh, well, thank you guys. I don't need to talk to two microphones, right, Jacob? OK. Uh, in, fact, in fact, it's bad. I'm, I'm Captain Redundancy. OK, so um, all right. So the way it's going to work here is um, uh, Rebecca, Paul is your puppet, OK? So if you want to make Paul move, you're going to go ahead and tap the back of his leg there to make him walk. Just tap, just like that, exactly, and he'll move. You want to make him move his arm, you just raise his arm there, and then Paul, there you go. And if you, exactly, he will leave it there unless you put it down. Wherever you lay Paul's arm, he will keep it, okay? And then uh, SJ, do the same for me. So you can go ahead and try, to try me out. I, I am your puppet. You can move, I mean Matt, any way you wish. You can move our heads by very gently uh, taking our heads and moving them. Yep. Remember, they don't go one, uh, 360, exactly. just 180. Uh, yeah, and uh, be uh, very uh, kind around the bikini zone. And that, Other than, that, uh, is, that, that is Paul's okay. rule and not mine. Okay. Just so we're good. Fair enough. Okay, good. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, good. Kind. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, my bikini zone is also very different than Paul's bikini zone. <laughs> That's to true. To be clear, I believe in shaving. So um, Quit talking into the handheld mic. I know. I can't help it. I just I, I love I'm, I'm drunk with Mike Power. <laughs> Stop okay. that. We don't, we don't need him anymore. Okay. So now uh, what I want you guys here on the internet to start doing is start typing in uh, different fairy tales. One of your favorite fairy tales, any of the classic fairy tales, whatever you want, just type them in. We'll choose one of them. And then Paul and I will reenact that fairy tale. We can speak. We can say anything that we want. The only thing we can't do is move. Uh, and we can't even really move too much except our eyeballs and our mouths. So everything else will be dependent upon our puppeteers here to get us through this fairy tale storybook right. <laughs> retelling. Uh, Sassy, Sassy Scoop, Scoop wants yeah. the Mayan creation story. <laughs> <laughs> Classic fairy tale. Jack and the Beanstalk, uh, Hansel and Gretel, Rapunzel, Sleeping Beauty, Shrek. Mike Power. Red Riding Hood. You want to do Red Riding Hood? Sure, let's do Red Riding All Hood. All right, Red Riding Hood. Here we go. Red Riding Hood, you must go visit your sickly grandmother out in the forest. Oh, do I? What? I have one basket, <laughs> and it's mine. And guess what's not going anywhere? 
You selfish girl! That's right! I'm putting a spell on you! No! <laughs> Look, see my zappy hands? Ah, I'm, gonna, I'm running away! I'm dodging it! I'm dodging the zaps! Nope, I turned the zaps! Nope, hit I'm me still the back! After you. Hit me in the back! Zaps don't count! I am your witch mother! <laughs> what? I am your witch mother! That's a big thing to lay on me! Look, go visit your grandma. Okay. Go into the forest. All right! I will run! Or I'll punch you. I will you. run to Grandma! I'm gonna go get it, go go to her fast as I can! Here I go! Better dodge my Look fist! Look at I go! Little red Mama! Grandmama, I'm coming! <laughs> I'm racing! I'm gonna get there! <laughs> so fast! Here I am! Now I just have to defend myself against the door. Where's the door? Straight ahead, door straight ahead. <laughs> There we go, I will punch my picnic basket through the door. <laughs> there, there, I've opened the door, right? <laughs> and now I will enter Grandma's house. Grandma Ma! Oh, Grandma! Hello, sweetie! Oh, I didn't realize you were sleeping. You caught me in a nappy poo. Really? I've got picnic baskets. You bring me something good to eat? Oh, yeah, let me just put this picnic basket on the table. I surrender. What? I surrender to your disgusting food. <laughs> oh, how dare you? I know what kind of food my daughter packs and gives to my granddaughter. Oh, oh my gosh, I just remembered something. What? Inside this basket. What is it? I'm going to open the basket. Here we go. And I'm going to reach inside. And grab a gun! It's a gun! Freeze! Wolf! I'm actually a cop. Look, here's my badge. How'd you know I was a wolf? Here's my badge. Rawr, There's rawr, my badge. Rawr, Boom! There's rawr, my badge. Rawr. See it? Yeah, badges don't mean shit in the woods, pal. Yeah, bullets do. Bang! Oh! You shot my paw! That's right! And I'm shooting your ah. ma next! Ah, don't do it. <laughs> Bang! Ah! How'd you know I call my other hand ma? <laughs> One's called pa, the other's called ma. Good guess, I guess. And now I'm gonna go after your grandchildren. Bang! Dance! Oh, Bang! Oh. Dance for me, Wolfie! Uh, dance for I me! Can dance after these oh, terrible God. wounds? <laughs> I've had a really tough day. You've had a tough day! Oh, you. I'm covering my <laughs> groin region from bleeding out! <laughs> you caught a main artery. I've got moments to live. Oh, I will and now I have a toothache I on top of it all. I will perform CPR on you. I will keep you alive. Here I go. <laughs> Time is of the essence. Oh, this is not the CPR I want. <laughs> this is not. Trust me, it's medicine. Oh. It's medicine. Oh. <laughs> see, see, see. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Rebecca and Estee, everybody. Oh. Rebecca and Estee, thank you. I can I, I literally cannot blow my load this early in the show. Um, okay, great. I'm so happy that Rebecca, one of her best moves was having Paul cover his microphone on his face. Yes. <laughs> Just put the hand right yeah, on the microphone. Mic. That was perfect. That's, that's great. That's, 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 that's technical that's, thinking. That's my favorite moment of the show. <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, once again, that was our first game of competing for your affection. So again, the tip buttons are just below if you scroll down. <laughs> uh, now we're going to move on to our next game, which is fill in the blanks! Yay! Which we don't have a card for. Um, so, um, <laughs> and w Wes said, don't talk about it, just move on. And I was like, I won't. I won't talk about it. Okay, so um, Done. Uh, the way it's going to work is... Uh, we're going to be uh, doing a scene, and you guys are going to start just write, writing a ton of random sentences, okay? So you guys just start typing away. You can type in uh, uh, movie quotes. You can type in things you overheard today. You can type in whatever you want. Whatever you'd like. Just start scrolling up just crazy lines, and Paul and I are going to do a scene, and we're going to fill in the blanks as we go. All right? Um, so uh, for this, what is a place of business? I'll get, should we get from these guys here? So sure. Typing lines. What is a place of business that would fit uh, in this little stage here? Cigar shop. A cigar, cigar shop. shop. I started a cigar shop. Everyone else froze on that. Just so you know, business is a place where you exchange money for goods. <laughs> okay, good. All right, so uh, um, cigar shop will be where this takes place. Jing a ling a ling a ling. Clang, 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 click. Hi. I, uh, I'm not sure where we're at with a Cuban embargo right now, but I have a bachelor party and I want to get some really great cigars for people. Um, we will begin pre-boarding 
of Disabled's first at the bachelor party. I have some disabled cigars. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> They're very bent and twisty. OK. They don't fit in your mouth well. OK. But here's the thing. They're still cigars. <laughs> That's not a banana? No, it's a cigar. That's I, how twisty it is. Try one. Try one of my disabled cigars. I will. Do you have a match? I don't like pickles. Um, do you have any non-pickled matches? All right. My vocabulistics are goodest here. <laughs> Let me light that disabled cigar for you. My mother smells. That's why I got into cigaring. It covers up her horrendous odor. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of information to take in. But honestly, I'm glad you shared it with me. I mean, it was this or Febreze salesman. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I can't help but falling in love with you right now. Don't be fooled. You're not falling in love with me. You're falling in love with that disabled cigar. I want the Lewinsky special. <laughs> oh, with the cigar that's in my mouth? So you are falling in love with me. Maybe a little. We'll see how it goes. Make sure you keep it hot and lit when you do it. <laughs> Tobacco is life! Oh. By the way, this isn't my taint. Just out of curiosity, how big is your fist? <laughs> this is escalating quickly. <laughs> you came into my shop, pal. Look, I, I'm in love with you, but I have my limits, or rather things I haven't tried before. Lewinsky's I've done a thousand times. This is brand new to me. Yeah. But it's this big. The disabled cigar was one thing, but this, this is something special. This cigar isn't big enough for the both of us. It's a micro cigar. Don't ash on me. I won't ash on you unless you ash me to. I haven't trimmed my thumbnail. You could so work I could here. cut open the back of that cigar. You could totally work here. Yeah. Ah, uh, here, can you hold the lip one? Poor disabled cigar. Hotbox that shit. You should, we should like get, get like a container. We can just smoke a cigar together. In one box? Yeah. Share the cigar? Yeah. And then we also breathe in the secondhand smoke so we get even cigarier. A box like this? <gasps> you do know what a hotbox is. Only a midget can fit in these shoes. See? Yeah. Only a midget can fit in these shoes. This is an old shoe box of which I will choose to use for a hot box for you and I to peruse while we smoke disabled cigars and breathe each other's juice. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> How did I end up here? One bachelor party, air and I run, and suddenly I'm a little bit queer. Shove it in, shove it in, that's what I say. Shove it in, your cigar juice, shove it in my way. You know, I'm not puffing very quick. This midget shoebox isn't gonna fill itself with cigar smoke. <laughs> there you go. It's the cigar smoking solo. Yeah, hey. <laughs> North Carolina is Australia's New Zealand. If you didn't know that, well, let me fill you in. Because in the way that New Zealand is nice, North Carolina is also with their disabled cigar price. They've had a, a tax break on disabled cigars. Oh, wonderful, yeah, yeah, yeah. wonderful. Yeah, New Zealand does the same thing. I should say at this point I've fallen out of love with you. Don't suck on my midget cigar. That's my midget cigar. Raspberry Kush? Why didn't you just ask for pot in the first place? <laughs> We're in Las Vegas. What do you think cigar shops sell now? <laughs> See?
All right. I wonder if that's the case. Like, how many cigar shops are still left in Vegas? Are there any that are still just cigar shops? Oh, yeah. yeah. Really? Oh, cigars are still huge. But they're not selling weed on the side? No. All right, let's check in with a tip amount. Up. Oh, despite all your hard work, Paul, I'm up five bucks to nothing. Well, things Boom. will change. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for the sentences. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for typing in. And uh, now we're going to move on to our next game, which is Scene Three Ways! Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, it is. Three uh, ways of scening. The way it works is uh, Paul and I are going to do a scene uh, once for you guys, and then we're going to get a genre of film, a genre of music, and a genre of literature. And we'll do the same scene over in those three different styles. That's right. Um, so for this, what we need for you guys to do is type in uh, uh, just an opening line of dialogue for us to use. Something you overheard today. Some simple line, anything at all. Not like, uh, give me that midget cigar, because right. I just had that. Unless you heard that today, but I guess, I guess you have. You right? actually I heard that, not us saying it today? Yeah. Then maybe. Yeah, you have yeah. to take that out from, from oh, the I wish we could part. do all those cat-eared faces. That'd, yeah, be, that'd be something to run with. We must get the trucks in quickly. <laughs> we must get the trucks in quickly. From Dave Coulier. I like that. I like okay. that. We must get the trucks in quickly. I'm the enemy is surrounding the camp. I'm moving as fast as I can. Ah, oh, you're going far too slow. No. The grenadiers, they're bombing now. I don't, I'm fine with it. I'm, I can dodge them. I'm so quick, I can just get, I can move from a grenade. Get a truck in, move Slow around. moving, Samuel, you are too far too slow with your truck moving. You know, I've always hated that nickname. <laughs> but it is very appropriate. Watch and learn. <laughs> I'll, I'm gonna open the door of this fort. And <laughs> 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 Oh, slow moving Samuel, would you please hurry? We must get the trucks inside! Oh. No, you're going in reverse now! Yeah. Mm. Yeah, these are not so slow moving in the truck. <laughs> One truck. <laughs> Samuel, I only gave you this job because I like your mother. <laughs> Don't come back! Oh. Go do the job! Just feels like what you were warning me about warranted a response. I wasn't warning you, I was telling you why you have this job at all! Because of my mom? Yes! It's not the first time I've gotten a job because of my mom. I know that! <laughs> How much do you know? She is like the town bicycle with 18 seats on it. <laughs> Let's see. All right. So now go ahead and start typing in different genres of movies, genres of books, genres of music. Go ahead and start typing away, and we will do uh, that. <laughs> Minecraft fanboy? <laughs> oh, uh, I, I think that's just a suggestion. Maybe. Okay. Uh, Rammstein. <laughs> Can you, can, you, can you swing with that for music? Do you want me to do Rammstein? Can you, I mean, it's kind of, yeah, well, we'll see. Romantic uh, comedy. <laughs> porno, romantic comedy, adventure. Nature documentary from one of the Wills. Uh, oh, like yeah. That. Let's, Let's do nature, nature documentary. documentary. Uh, okay. Sword and sorcery fantasy. Would that be our book style, sort of? Okay. okay. Sword and sorcery. Yeah, sword and sorcery. We got nature documentary. Yeah, no, it's music. And uh, well, we've got Rammstein. Yeah, Rammstein. Can, can we do, do Rammstein? Rammstein? Can, you, can you swing that? Uh, uh, I'd rather do porn. Oh, okay. Porn as music. Yeah. Porn as music yeah. genre. Right. I like that sure. too. Actually. I like it. Yeah. We'll try that. We'll try like that. that. We'll um, try anything once. For, for any millennials watching, porn used to have music. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, just the music that's playing like in the background of the room, like as, yeah, you're, as yeah. you're watching the girl on the hidden camera. It's an odd generational thing. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. You go brown, chicka, brown, brown. It still exists like, in the softcore form. There's still, yeah. Um, all right. So we got. Sword and sorcery fantasy, yes. porn music, yeah. and we'll start things off by doing the scene in the style of, what was that first one? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you had it. I did. <laughs> and nature. Nature, nature documentary. documentary. Okay. Professional documentary. improvisers. Thank you. We need 
to move the trucks quickly into their natural habitat. They are standing where they should not be, and if we do not move them quickly, they will die. I was in a war zone. He came and he was barking all kinds of things at me. I didn't really understand. I didn't get it. But it, I knew those words meant to move. And there's one thing I could do out in the wild, it was move. So I listened to him. Slow moving Samuel, we need to move all of the trucks from the pens into the sanctuary, where they will have respite and be away from the bombs and the grenades. I will move them. There's one thing I do is love animals. There's two things I do, it's save them. <laughs> As you see Samuel moving very slowly, you will notice his natural predilection for not moving at all. It is amazing that he even moves in the slightest. When he starts a movement, he has to consider whether or not he wants to continue it. Every time a movement is made, he thinks twice about the movement and then reconsiders. His slow movement, slow as it may be, is not so slow as you would find in a natural environment. Here he is being encouraged to move. So this movement is actually far faster than he is usually doing. This slow movement, while incredibly slow, understand, is not so slow as you would normally see. What I'm trying to say is the verisimilitude with which I would like to present Slow Slamuel's natural movements is lost because I've encouraged him to go and get a move on. This is way faster than he would normally be. I know it looks really slow, but... One. Oh! <laughs> The only reason you are being used is because we want to preserve your mother. <laughs> Don't come back! You're ruining the shot! What, what happened with my mother? What didn't happen with your mother? She's like the town wildebeest with a big, <laughs> with a big long uh, horn rack where everybody can sit where they like. Long horn rack, you mother. So that's why they call her horn rack. You were conceived in a truck. On her horn. She really laid on the horn in that truck. I get it. Do you? That's gross if you do. <laughs> She's your mother. I don't care how much of a documentary of nature films this is. Hey. What? Come here. Oh, oh, your slow, soothing movements have brought me to a new level of peace. Team. <laughs> uh, sword and sorcery adventure. Sword and sorcery adventure. I mean, I have a lot for this. Do you, are you good for this genre? We'll see. <laughs> We must move the catapults from outside of the fortress into the fortress. You got it. Whoa. Even my bombs are slow. <laughs> Zing. You didn't Zing. need to have a smoke bomb there. <laughs> Zing. I am your ally, yeah. and I know where you're going. Ouch. <laughs> All right, I'm going to work on some spells while you... Catapults? Yeah, of course. What else? <laughs> I see other I see other things. Yeah, but don't do the other things. Leave the horses and leave the armor. Bring the catapults. Yeah. You sure we don't need horses? Eventually maybe, but catapults are the first priority. Don't keep coming back here. Ooh, the only reason you have what? a job is because of your mother. What did you say? The only reason you have a job here is because of your mother. Sing. Your mother was the queen. You're the prince. You know this. What? Yes, these are great poses. 
<laughs> no one is arguing about the poses. You disgraced my family. Prepare to die. Yeah. Would you please go get some catapults? Yeah. No, no. Get some catapults. Get some catapults. Get some catapults. I am asking you. I'm asking you. <laughs> uh, porno. <laughs> well, I know you're still sleepy, but I'm gonna wake that ass right on up. Go ahead, head outside. Get in my truck By truck, I mean truck A car with a bed Yeah, a car with a bed Do you get my drift? That's what I said We can truck in the car with the bed Until I go on your head And then, instead I'll ride you like a bobsled Oh I'm gonna go outside right now Get that truck in here somehow When I get in, let the sin begin And you begin to say, how you like me now? seats <laughs> when I pull my seat belt down do you know what it goes around love wasting my time car starts here I go <laughs> your truck is here that's one. How many are there? About a hundred. Jesus. <laughs> I only rented the studio for an hour. <laughs> Number two, what do I do? Where are the keys? I think I left them inside. <laughs> yeah, all the trucks have the same keys. You left it in the first truck? <laughs> yeah, I only uh, gave you this chance to be in this movie because of your mom. Marilyn Chambers? Yes. <laughs> you didn't hire me because of my talents? I hired you because your mom is Marilyn Chambers. You don't think I have talent for this? Would you get the truck? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna bring something big in here, but it's not a truck, am I? Crystal clear, I hear a go. It's a big buckle. <laughs> That's the belt. Yes. <laughs> I'm wearing tight cuff sleeves. Sure. <laughs> you can leave the shirt on. I like it. <laughs> Porky pig style. <laughs> Please. Strap trout. I'm only 
probably wearing three pairs of underwear. Oh, good. <laughs> One more to go. The anticipation's killing me. <laughs> Do it. Oh. Well, I can see the family resemblance to Marilyn Chambers. <laughs> <sighs> my, part, my penis looks just like her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we doing this? <laughs> I have to suck Marilyn Chambers. <laughs> <laughs> hey. oh. Nice, Sweat House. All right, uh, UA Tar says he calls it doing the Donald Duck style. Yeah, to each their own. To each their own. I think the Porky Pig has a, uh, it's just grosser. Yeah. He's got that rounded off belly. Donald Duck's got like a soft thing going on. Yeah. Porky's just got that smooth lookout. Mm -mm. Just pig skin. Yeah, it's just like a. Big old sausage yeah. factory. Finisher. Yeah. Fro Fro Yolk Soft Serve calls it Winnie the Pooh. There it is. There's, there's three different names for it. I think what we're learning is cartoons hate pants. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. What's, what are we at right now? Matt is at $5. I'm at $5 and one penny. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Five bucks of 501. I can't yeah. believe it. That's so close. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, Spadoni and I are tied. Spadoni and you are tied at uh, zero, is that? At zero. Zero, zero. Tie game. Right. So I got to get, right. get better than one penny. All right. So now we're going to step it up for our, our, uh, for our uh, selves. Yes. And we're going to play some triple threat. Yay. Yay. This is a joke telling game. What's going to happen is we're going to get a single suggestion from you guys. And we are going to try to run that single suggestion through four different joke structure filters. The first joke structure is 185 blank walking to the bar. Bartender says something pithy. And the uh, 185 say something back maybe in retort. Who knows? Uh, second setup is I like my women or I like my men like I like my blank. And the third setup is uh, they call me the blank because I blank. Fourth final setup. Uh, What's the difference between your mom and a blank? And that's when we finish it up. If we can complete all four of those Hold styles. Up, yes. Are, you guys, are you guys on Twitch or are you just checking your email? <laughs> I was trying to catch you guys on the phones. All right. Good. They're Real on Twitch. Check. I know. That was going to be the joke. But they were fast. They saw the camera on. They were like, <laughs> like kids the principal's off. The all right. Go ahead. What were you saying, so, Well, we've got the four different styles of jokes. And if we can complete those, we will have completed the triple threat. So we each have to tell at least one joke in, that, in each of those styles before we can move on to the next subject. Here we got uh, subjects are coming in. Let's start off with dog treats. First thing I saw. Dog, dog treats. treats. Thank you. All right, 185 dog treats walking to the bar. And the bartender says, I'm sorry, we don't serve dog treats here. And the dog treats say, snossages. <laughs> that's what dog treats say. Uh, I like my women like I like my dog treats. I picked them up in a pet store. <laughs> uh, they call me the dog treat because lots of... Dogs will still eat me, even though I'm old. <laughs> they call me the dog treat, because not only will I give you fresh breath, but I'll help sharpen your teeth. That's good. Uh, what's the difference between your mom and a dog treat? What's that? I had to pay money for dog treats. <laughs> <laughs> That was courtesy of Froyo Soft Serve. I see uh, Construction Zone on here for uh, T-Bone for Life 04. Construction Zone. Construction, construction zone. zone. Okay. 185 Construction Zones walk into the bar. Uh, and Bartra says, we don't serve uh, Construction Zones here. No. In fact, we can't. And they're like, well, we think you cone. That's all I got. <laughs> it's good. All it's, I good. Have. it's good. It's good. It's good. It's the basking in laughter song. <laughs> uh, I like my women like I like my construction zones. You got a bunch of dudes hanging on and whistling. <laughs> <laughs> they call me the construction zone, because just when you think you're going to have a regular day, I stop by. <laughs> Uh, what's the difference between your mom and a construction zone? What? 
Someone's actually worked on a construction zone. <laughs> <laughs> What's it between your mom and a construction zone? What? One was perfectly uh, laid out area that's now just been destroyed from constant traction of men. Ham Excuse me, we're right here. <laughs> That's, that's your mom telling me to shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> She's definitely in the zone. <laughs> Did that come across on mic or are the people on the internet confused? I think Everyone they might here be confused. just a giant horn. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, What's the difference between your mom and a construction zone? What's that? Uh, well, I pass out from hot tar fumes when I'm around your mom. <laughs> What's it between your mom and a construction zone? What? When I see one uh, in my car, I go like, oh shit, and I figure out how I can uh, U-turn as fast as possible. <laughs> and the other is a construction zone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need another thing. Uh, Sassy Scoop says sponge. 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 <laughs> uh, 185 sponges walking the bar. Barnes we don't serve sponges here. And the sponges are like, wow. Can you give me a sec? I'm still trying to take it all in. Don't groan at that. <laughs> that was well performed. You didn't see it coming till the very end. Uh, they call me the sponge, because I'll E. coli to you. <laughs> <clears throat> there are havens for filth. Don't, guys, throw it away. If you even, if you even have the question, throw it away. <laughs> Don't go, ah, oh, it's probably fine. No, throw it out. It's gonna get, not just you, whoever else touches that spoon, just toss it. They're three dollars for six. It's not the last sponge. And it's probably not even real sponge. They don't use sponge anymore. Don't feel like, oh, poor sea creature. No, that's some artificial E. coli haven. That's, that's an E. coli condo. Chuck that shit. Use it once, maybe twice, and then new sponge. Please, please, more new sponges. More new sponges. It's so gross. They're not that expensive. They're just not. They're not worth the price of your health. It seems fine. Uh, I like my women like I like my sponges. I uh, have to put on a pair of rubber gloves before I really work with them. <laughs> You didn't throw it out in time. <laughs> if you had respect for just, just a new one, you don't need gloves. If you need gloves for the sponge, that's a problem. That's a big problem. Also, those scouring sides don't last forever either. The, the, the abrasion wears down very fast. Very fast. You're just going to be doing way more work than you need to and getting disease. Don't. Just throw it out. What's the difference between your mom and a sponge? What? Uh, one, you should use once, maybe twice, and then throw it away. <laughs> and the other is the sponge. <laughs> it's true. All right. Something new. Uh, let's see, I just saw caramel apples. That's uh, Janky Man's. Janky Man's, caramel apples. Caramel apples. 185 caramel apples walking to the bar. Brendan says, we don't serve caramel apples, but before he says it, it's too late. They're stuck to the roof of the bar. <laughs> 185 caramel apples walking to the bar. The bartender says, hey, hey you, caramel apple, don't I know you? And the caramel apple's like, I don't think so. And uh, the bartender's like, no, nah, I'm pretty sure I know you, caramel apple. No, I, I don't think so. And the bartender's like, caramel apple, are you being serious with me? I know you from somewhere. You weren't always a caramel apple, were you? And the caramel apple says, No, you probably knew me when I was Bob. <laughs> That's a lot. Bob for apple. <laughs> Got it the first time. That was the joke. But that was... Basket it. Basket it. <laughs> Feel it wash it's, over you. It's raining Feel laughter. Feel it. Feel it. Oh, it's so good. I like my women like I like my caramel apples. Sweet on the outside, seedy on the inside. <laughs> uh, they call me the caramel apple because I'm dangerous to old people's dental work. <laughs> they call me the caramel apple. You don't want me until you're at a carnival. <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> well, what's the difference between your mom and a caramel apple? What's that? One has a sweet sugary coating outside and the promise of health inside. <laughs> and the other 
is a disgusting whore. <laughs> What's it seen your mom and a caramel apple? What? Uh, one has no problem just taking anyone for a dip and letting any ex-convict put a stick in her. <laughs> and the other's a caramel apple! <laughs> hey, hey, uh, what's the difference between your mom and a caramel apple? What? Uh, one is sold at Disneyland for the exorbitant price of $9 a piece, and the other one is a caramel apple. <laughs> Oh, oh. Uh, right. Is that the Tower of Terror? Is that what she's called? <laughs> <laughs> no wonder they tore that shit down. <laughs> Your mom's terrible. <laughs> she's a Tower of Terror. Oh, 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 I don't let her anywhere near Pluto or he's going to get warts. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> she's fine. She's fine. <laughs> it's all pretend. We need a new thing. But I don't know if we should do more. The audience is turning on this. All right. <laughs> Turned. I believe it's past tense. The audience, the audience turned. is turned. The audience is turned. Yeah. Like your mom. Uh, lawsuit. Lawsuit. Oh, you want to do it? Oh, I think there's. I think they're saying it's a lawsuit. <laughs> oh. In that case, let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go. Uh, yeah, we should. It's, it's. We're gonna go to the last game. It's called uh, Sing It Picks. It actually says sing it bitch on your screen. Uh, but the way it works is uh, you guys are sending us uh, pictures with the hashtag uh, bucket pics on it. And the whole audience can see that picture on that tiny screen. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but we're going to be doing uh, uh, a scene. And while we do the scene based on your pictures, any moment Paul and I can challenge each other to turn into a musical by saying, freeze, sing it, bitch, yep. and repeat the last line the other person just said. And that person must turn that line into a hit song from a musical. Right on All the right. spot. Oh, shoot, Paul. Boom. I'm up a dollar on your ass. Uh, 601 to 501. No. Show's not over. That's right. <laughs> and uh, Jacob uh, is at a dollar, and Spadoni's at 251. Look at that. Yeah. Nice. All right, guys. Wait, wait. I'm losing to Spadoni? It's, it's, right it's a race to minimum wage. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, let's see our first image. We'll take a piece of this image and be inspired by it. This is from Froyo Soft Serve. Thank you. There's a giant pie for anybody watching. I'm going to give the blue ribbon to this one. Oh, let me guess. This wasn't your pie? No. Literally every other pie is mine. <laughs> <laughs> There's seven pies in the finals. I cooked six of them. Well, sorry, Jerry. I'm just being a judge. This other pie is left over from a guy who died last week. It was the last pie he made. And people entered it as a gesture. Well, it's a delicious gesture. And he posthumously won the blue ribbon. What? Posthumously means when he died, he got All it. All right. <laughs> After was, he was dead. I was going to look it up. I know. Well, Jerry, this is just a superior pie. Freeze. Sing it, bitch. Jerry, this is just a superior pie. <laughs> Jerry, this is just a superior pie. It was made by a guy who happened to die before they entered the pie. The crust, oh so flaky and light, see it fly through the night like an angel's delight. Sorry, Jerry. That's the superior piece of cooking. You should check 
and with your agent for the booking. Next time you enter six pies, you should win at least some prize. But that's a superior pie. You need to get shit. <laughs> All right, next pick. We got one from Wendy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, so for, uh, again, because the audience can see it, it is a, a statue of Colonel Sanders uh, wrapped up in carpet and cellophane. We don't know that it's a statue. <laughs> <laughs> so let me get this right. You think you are the Hamburglar. Rubble, rubble. Yeah, okay. Okay. But I want you to try and think past these times when you have these burger cravings that you must steal a burger. No, no, no. There are no other times. I wake craving the burger and go to sleep craving the burger and dream of burgers. I want us to make progress here, and I want you to be able to leave this asylum at some point. Mm-hmm. You're not... When I leave, I'll be leaving with your burger. <laughs> Patient still completely in delusional state. Oh. Robble, robble again. Delusional? Go look for your burger. <sighs> Patient incredibly adept at burgling. Burger, burglarling, Bur burglarling, burger burgling, burger burgling, burger burgling. Now that's a mouthful. No, this is a mouthful. Damn you! <laughs> this is a mouthful. That's so lame. That was so lame. Sing it, bitch. That was so lame. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna freeze it. Anything you say. <laughs> This is a mouthful, this is a mouthful, I feel it all in my mouth, under my tongue and in my cheeks. This is a mouthful, I like it so much, I leaks <laughs> the information. The at home, I can see you, pouring over the stove, frying up this one good <laughs> thinking later on I'll treat myself at lunch and eat it so much it is good <laughs> what the fuck is going on <sighs> calm down guy who thinks he's the hamburglar I clearly don't get a Mobius loop I clearly don't think I'm a musical <laughs> we're stuck in a Mobius loop <laughs> not only did I fuck up the rhythm when the song started but then the volume came in <laughs> we're trapped inside a Mobius loop Doomed to repeat this behavior over and over again. Odd infinitum. I find that hard to believe. All right, I want there to be progress. I want you to move forward and get out of this asylum. Rubble, rubble. Ah, the rubble, rubble again. You're not the Hamburglar. I am the Hamburglar. No, you're not. Ask yourself this. Where's your burger? <laughs> Where's my burger? <laughs> Extremely good at hamburgerling. Freeze! Sing it, bitch! <laughs> Just a hungry boy <laughs> trying to eat his burger with joy. But my burger got burgled from my head. He's in my sack ward. Be 
Another picture, Jacob. We got a picture here from Brian Cummings. Brian hey, Cummings. Give it up for Spadoni on the keys there. Spadoni. Yeah. Yeah. Look, it's a picture I like to call. Voice, Paul, and I made five more dollars. Well, that's how it works. <laughs> this is a picture I like to call fancy alligator out of the evening. <laughs> uh, I'm still not letting you in the club. I'm pretty sure I reserved the table. <laughs> uh, this is a human-only club. Ah, human, well, good, good thing then. Good thing that. Good thing that. Me being a human. <laughs> uh, sir. Uh, I'll look up the reservations under Gator, first name Alistair. <laughs> you have the reservation, I trust. I, I called on my swamp phone. <laughs> I do. Um, it's just that... Uh, the, my money's no good here. Uh, you, might, you might eat someone. <laughs> The heavens may crash into the sea. No, there's a greater chance of you eating someone. Oh, pish, pish posh, pish posh, sir. Pish posh. I understand. I understand. Let us speak in the language that everyone is fluent in. The language of Mr. Benjamin. This is just a picture of Benjamin Franklin. Yes. Would you like another? I have several. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna look the other way. Oh, good. I'm not gonna call the cops. That's what I like to hear. But I'm not gonna let you in the, dine in my restaurant. Pitch for, sir. <laughs> I have reservations. You eat people all the time. Not all the time. I'm not doing it now. So, to your point, wrong. Let me in the club. <laughs> I'll be on my best behavior, I promise. Freeze. Sing it, bitch. <laughs> I'll be on my best behavior. Let me in the club. I'll be on my best behavior. I promise I won't snap at anyone or gobble up my neighbor. Just let me sit at the table and order a glass of wine and drink it slowly. Oh, it would be so divine. I spend my days underwater with my eyes barely poking out from there. Hoping for a slow fish or a wild beast to come along, which I may ensnare. But today I put on my fancy suit and got myself all prim to behave like a proper gentleman. So please let me in your club, let me sup here in your club. Please, sir, let me in, let Alistair Gator in. Now. I know. I know when I'm beaten. Now I am the Mater D. Oh, what power! Hello, sir. Good evening. I'd like a table for any amount anywhere. Do you have a reservation, sir? Yeah. Under lion. First and last name, I'm like Prince. <laughs> Unfortunately, sir, that doesn't seem to be a reservation. It seems you really were lion. <laughs> Busted. Come on in. No. It's animal night. Fuck it. <laughs> Uh, Jacob the audio guy, all the fellas here at Ugu. Final tally right here, coming for you. I won fucking 11 one to 5 one I was shattered. Looks like I'm buying the gumballs this week. <laughs> all right, I want to thank all of you guys in the studio arts for coming out here tonight. Thank Thanks you so much. Here, guys. Yes, indeed. Scoop Fest is right around the corner. Thank you all so much for all coming right. out. Uh, if any of you thought the 
show is worth more than, say, $5.01. Nope. Come up and express it in our little tip bucket if you want to give us any more. We really appreciate it. It helps keep our studio going and the show going. Um, and also, especially all you scoops, please come up here and uh, whether you tip or not, wave hello to folks as you see a lot of, yes, a lot of your friends love there to see your lovely on the message faces. board coming up here. We're here every Wednesday at 4 o'clock. If you want to come back, please do. If you want more comedy in your ear holes, check out Matt and Madeline's Ice Cream Social. You go to HeyScoops.com or look for Matt and Madeline Ice, Matt and Madeline's Ice Cream Social on any podcast app. Um, thanks a lot, everybody. Have a good night. Good night. Thanks, Bye, guys. guys. Thank you. Come on up. Come on up. It's the bucket show. Come on up. It's the bucket show. Thank you so much. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Take that ball. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming, man. You got the high fiber. You made a high fiber. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, that's right. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you so much for coming here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming out here. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, very nice, you guys. Thank you.